kind of stuff. I protested against the Vietnam War when I was in high school. And in my own home state of Utah, I protested them dumping nuclear waste in the 70s. And Spencer W. Kimball, through his own inspiration, came out and, and agreed and said, this is wrong for the headquarters of the Mormon church. Do you think building an NSA super spying center that's a, that's a, that's a million square miles big, is that any better? And just because those damn polygamist people own the land doesn't mean they should be able to get away with it. And Orrin Hatch, what were you doing there? The NSA is snooping on, our, on everything, computers, telephones, whispers, you name it. And you don't think that that's going to have something detrimental, a threat against religious freedom? Mormons care about religious freedom more than anything. And you're going to put the biggest spying center in the world in Utah? Somebody's got to stop it. Oh, by the way, you know, it's in a place called Bluffdale. Bluffdale. Isn't that interesting? Bluff. Might as well be called Cultdale. Because the Apostolic United Brethren, which are a knockoff, ripoff, apostate group from the Mormon Church, well, they own the place. Well, I guess they needed some money to help support all their wives and all their child brides. There's something wrong with this. Instead of Bibles and worshipers in their temples, they're going to be filled with surveillance experts and armed guards to protect this fortress. And they won't be listening to words from heaven. They'll be listening to you. And they'll be capturing and storing and analyzing everything that you do or say. Computers, emails, chats, parking tickets, travel itineraries, even your book purchases. Maybe if they don't like it, they're going to come to your house and they're going to burn your books. Maybe they'll burn the Book of Mormon. Does this not make any sense? Do you think that this amount of power in the hands of Obama can be trusted? And we're building it in Utah? Am I crazy? Okay, there's a link that you might, might want to check out. And I read, so you didn't necessarily have to. But it's called the Utah Data Center. That's what this super spy center is. And the NSA is building it. And it, it is the most intrusive intelligence agency on the planet. And I think the address is 666 Mark of the Beast. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm guessing. This cybersecurity project started with George W. Bush, and now it's in Obama's hands on steroids. And you don't think that somehow this is going to make a difference to you? You don't care about politics? Well, you're going to care because they're going to make you care. This seemingly good idea to get terrorists has now turned against us, the citizens of America. Doesn't it seem that sometimes remedies are worse than the disease? The solution becomes worse than the problem. No, we're just gonna, we're just gonna have all of us. All of us are gonna have a big brother. Isn't that gonna be great? You know what? Lord Acton was right. Power corrupts. It's true. But absolute power corrupts absolutely.